in the year 2009 my father passed away he was a patient of parkinson's disease suddenly one morning i just got a call from my mother saying he's gone i remember when i was in university for 2 years i did not speak a single word to my father we had some differences of opinion loving father so upset with him i did not speak a single word with him for 2 years and just before i came to the hari krishna movement and joined the monastery just a couple of months before that my father came and fell at my feet putting his head on my feet crying and begging son please speak to me i remember ignoring that request my mom said son is your dad don't do that to him please and just because my mother said i started talking to him and in a couple of weeks i left home to become a monk just after i started talking to him every single year from the year 1996 until 2009 i went home to see my parents and i wanted to say sorry dad i shouldn't have done this to you and whenever i went home there is a three lettered word called ego that told me you were right why do you have to say i'm sorry i remember that word ego i just couldn't say it that morning when i received a call from my mom when my father had left even in the year 2009 just before coming here to england i had gone to see my dad thinking i'll say i'm sorry i didn't and he had really turned very very much appreciative of the, the work that i did was asking for the recordings of my talks and all of that stuff and i got back from england and in just a month's time i received this phone call he was gone i went for the funeral i remember putting my head at my dad's feet for the one final time dropping a few unseen tears who nobody would ever know until i told the story to you and with those tears saying that i'm sorry i shouldn't have done this to you i shouldn't have done this to you you never know how long people are with us and you cannot take a chance to mess up with the most amazing experiences of love just because something happened ladies and gentlemen forgiveness is the foundation of a meaningful deep true relationship to let go if somebody has hurt us and to say i'm sorry if we have hurt somebody and letting things go is what makes relationships profound meaningful and deep which is why i say when you say you're sorry it doesn't mean that you are wrong it just means that you value the person and the relationship more than being right you have to choose what do you want being right or love and if you want love sometimes you have to say sorry even if you are 